bread. Will it give you the body of Christ or the devil's roles? Let's find out. I am your coach, Melanie Black. I'm a sports nutritionist and personal trainer person on the internet with over 10 years of experience. And I love bread. Full disclosure, I love bread. I think it is glorious. Uh, and I am not gluten intolerant. So my ideas about bread may be is somewhat skewed, somewhat subject to um, influence. But like all things uh, that get vilified as healthy or unhealthy, chances are it just boils down to are you eating the right amount for you? So we're gonna take it through step-by-step. Step. How do you figure that out? How much bread can you, should you have for your fitness goals? Uh, let's take a look at some different bread kinds, some different bread types, find out which one is the healthiest bread, okay? Uh, so first off, um, let's, let's talk calories real quick, okay? I, I'm not gonna bog you down in math a whole lot in this one. Um, but essentially, if you're looking for a, a basic general weight loss plan and you want to break down your calories and your macros, you want to go ahead and take your body weight that you want and assuming you're working out three days per week at least and getting 10,000 steps per day and you want to multiply that weight by 11. So in other words, if you're, uh, your estimated lean body weight that you want to get to is 120 pounds, uh, you would multiply that by 11 to get what is that? 1,000, 1,200 would be times 10. My math brain isn't working right now. In any case, you multiply it by 11 to get your calories for the day. And you want about 30% of those calories to come from heart carbohydrates, 30% of those calories to come from protein and 30% to come from uh, fat. And remember that carbohydrates and protein have four calories per gram and fat has nine calories per gram. Um, so yeah, that I know I went through that super fast. I'll link to a video uh, at the end of this video uh, that slows down the math for you if you're interested in breaking it down. But let's talk about um, selecting your bread. So assuming that you are not going over in your calories and here's the big deal with bread. This is why so many people will and do lose weight when they cut out the bread. It's because bread is delicious. We tend to overeat it. It is a very calorically dense food, which is why it has served humanity so well through the ages, because for much of humanity's existence, we didn't have good ready access to lots of calories and like bread saved our buns more than once. So yay for bread. Our ancestors survived so we can even live today. Woo! Um, but uh, yeah, so now we have an overabundance of food and plenty of breads to choose from. So what's a what's a person to do with a human body? And they, they you know, assuming that your body maybe has um, a little too many rolls on it or whatever, you want to reduce your body fat. You want to make sure that you're getting a reasonable amount of calories and a reasonable amount of calories from carbohydrates. Oh, and also you want to get about 20 grams per day of fiber in there somewhere, which is why most of the good uh, nutrition plans are heavy on the vegetables, light on the simple carbohydrates. That said, as long as you're going in for a caloric deficit, that's going to be about three to 500 calories below what your maintenance level is, um, which again, if you do that, you know, body weight, lean body weight times 11, that'll get you about there. As long as you're within your calories, you're fine. Okay, so let's talk about um, bread calories and carbohydrate calories and different kind of breads out there. Now, now, first off, if you're making your own bread, I've got some bad news for you. Making your own bread, it doesn't make it healthier. <laughs> and it doesn't make it less calories. You still would have to figure out, in fact, figuring out the calories from doing homemade bread is a little bit more of a pain in the butt because you have to look at the package of the flour plus any ingredients that you add in there, such as eggs or whatever. And um, depending on the type of bread you're making, I don't know what kind of bread you're making, nuts, grains, anything that you put in there, you have to count the total calories per batch and then divide it up and then and then you will know you will know because of what you put in it um, but there's no magic baking process that takes the calories out of bread so uh, your homemade bread is just as suspect as any packaged bread on the shelf uh, the only difference is the bread on the shelf we pretty much know what's in it because it's got a nutrition label on the back handy dandy for those of you who are counting your protein fat and carbohydrate let's take a look at some of the those nutrition labels on your bread. Oh my God, I gotta find my screen, hold on. One take wonder over here. I am not doing this video 
more than once. So let me find my screen. There we go. That's the one I want. Yes. And then we're going to go back over here and share. Sweet. Here we go. Here's some bread labels for you. We got three kinds of bread here. Three of my favorites. Wonder bread, Dave's bread, and Ezekiel bread. Uh, excuse me, Dave's killer bread and Ezekiel bread. Uh, do you know already which one is the healthy bread? Well, let's put aside the word healthy because it's really a useless word. Healthy, what's healthy for one person, not so much for another. If you are like a marathon athlete, you are gonna need way more calories and carbohydrates than the average person. The average person, like I said, only needs about 30% of their total caloric intake from carbohydrates and their total calories, if they're on a weight loss plan, should be their lean body weight estimated times 11, presuming they're doing some kind of workouts about three days per week. Okay, but here we go. Wonder bread. So if we look at the calories right off the bed, right off the back of the bread of the label, we got 140 calories on Wonder Bread. We've got 120 on Dave's and we've got 80 on Ezekiel. Oh, so that's so obvious, right? Wonder Bread's the worst. Well, hold on a second there, Buckaroo. You got to look at portion sizes as well. And Wonder Bread's portion size is not one, but two slices. Count them two slices. Whereas Dave's serving size is one slice and so is Ezekiel Bread. So, uh, so out of these, Wonder Bread calorie for just looking at calories, Wonder Bread's the winner. We got 70 calories per slice in Wonder Bread versus 120 in Dave's and 80 in Ezekiel. So calorie-wise, Wonder Bread's the winner. But that's not the only thing to consider. Now, is it? Now, you're not going to get any significant amount of protein from your bread, no matter what kind it is. Let's see, what's the protein here? So Ezekiel's got four grams. Uh, Dave's has got five and uh, two per slice for Wonder Bread. So between two and five grams per slice is what you're looking at among these three breads. Uh, unless you're like going hardcore vegan, you don't really want to get bogged down with counting your protein calories from bread because there's just not an appreciable amount in there. What they are mostly is going to be carbohydrates. So Dave's has 22 per slice. Uh, what we've got in our Ezekiel, where are they? Where are the carbohydrates? Total carbohydrates, 15 grams per slice. Here's the thing to remember with carbohydrates too, y'all, okay? Remember, net carbs are not a thing, okay? Don't get bogged down on the front of the label packaging. If it says net carbs on there, they are trying to trick you. Go ahead and look at total carbohydrate. Um, while we do wanna make sure that we are getting enough fiber, um, we do not want to get bogged down in this idea of net carbs and some carbohydrate calories not counting just because they have fiber. That's no, just no. Okay, so sorry to let you down on the, the net carbs there, but go ahead and look at the back of the label. You're looking at total carbohydrate. Also keep in mind that serving size wise, uh, is Dave's killer bread is like a hefty slice. It's, it's, a, it's a big slice compared to Ezekiel or Wonder Bread. So uh, the, the quantity per slice, in fact, it, what does it say here? Uh, so one slice of Dave's bread is 45 grams. Um, Ezekiel is 34 grams and uh, 57 grams divided by two, so like 32, 33 and a half. Um, no, I can't do math today. I don't know where my math brain went, guys. Some days I have it, some days I don't. But in any case, so all these bread slices are different amounts of food, but you're really coming out with about the same calories per volume when it comes to bread. It is a calorically dense food, bread of any kind. Any kind of bread is gonna be a calorically dense food. There's no getting around that. And uh, one of the ways in which Dave's bread and Ezekiel bread does win out is in the fiber department. So Dave's has got five grams, uh, Ezekiel's got three. And what does Wonder Bread have here per two slices? It has, I'm not seeing it. Where's the fiber? There it is, two grams. Okay, two grams. So one gram per slice on the Wonder Bread, which is not a surprise, right? Um, so calorie for calorie, it's like, which one are you gonna enjoy the most, but not too much? 
I will let you in on a little secret. Now, I, I generally use the Ezekiel 4.9 for all of my pre-planned meal plans that I give to folks, uh, including the Power Up Meal Plan, which is one of our absolute most successful plans. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I choose Ezekiel and not Wonder Bread. It's uh, number one, the Ezekiel bread, the slices are lower in fat. Uh, oh, that's the other thing we forgot to take a look at was fat. Let's take a look at the fat on each of these. Okay, so Ezekiel's got 0.5 grams of fat. Uh, Dave's has got two grams of fat and 1.5 uh, per two slices, so 0.75. So the Ezekiel is gonna be the lowest fat and highest fiber per slice, uh, relatively speaking by, by grams weight, okay? So you've got a bread that is high fiber, low fat. It's not gonna be the super tastiest bread. Out of those three, taste-wise, Dave's Killer Bread wins, boom, hands down. Delicious, flavorful bread. Uh, I would put the, uh, the Wonder Bread maybe in spot two for tastiness for me personally, just because of my personal taste. Um, for some people, Wonder Bread's gonna be the tastiest. And I would put uh, the Ezekiel bread in spot number three, as far as tastiness goes, I would say it's even maybe an acquired taste because it's not particularly sweet. It's kind of bitter, it's kind of grainy, it's kind of dry, but are you gonna overeat Ezekiel bread? Is Ezekiel bread gonna be so appetite stimulating that you start eating more and more and more? No, it's not. That's one of the reasons that it's a perfect bread for doing a fat loss type of plan. Uh, if you do look for Ezekiel bread in the store, by the way, it's generally going to be in the frozen section by the health food. <laughs> and and uh, that is where you're going to find Ezekiel bread because it's a sprouted grain bread and it goes bad really fast once it's out on the shelf. Um, Dave's and uh, Wonder Bread obviously have a longer shelf life than, than the Ezekiel bread. But shelf life aside, uh, you're looking at, uh, real, with bread, you're looking at how appetite stimulating is it going to be. And if you ever wonder, is bread really appetite stimulating though? Why is it the freaking appetizer at Olive Garden? Because you're going to want to eat more and more and more and more. The whole reason why bread rolls are given as an appetizer at restaurants, you think they want you to fill up and eat less? No, they want your appetite to be stimulated. And you know what stimulates the appetite even more than just a simple carbohydrate like bread? Bread with butter, oh, or olive oil, mm, or avocado. Any kind of fat with carbohydrate is like a massive appetite revving combo. So bread in and of itself, it's a carbohydrate. It's not bad for you. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. It's not unhealthy, but you have to be aware of your personal reaction to the bread. Does the bread make you ravenous? Is the bread simply a vehicle for other things in your sandwich? Um, is, it, is it a convenience thing? Why are you eating the bread? Uh, if it's because it is delicious, chances are that's going to derail your fat loss program a little bit. I recommend having foods that are slightly less delicious for a fat loss meal plan because you don't want to get your, your ghrelin revved up and through the roof. That's the hormone that makes you like want to seek out foods. And how you think about your food and how your food tastes has a tremendous impact on how much you're going to eat. So eating foods that are satisfying, nutritionally adequate, um, not bad, but not necessarily good either. Not so bad that they make you like go and just eat other foods that are more calorically dense, but not so good that you're like, ooh, I want like three more helpings of that, right? Um, we wanna make sure that we're, we're striking that balance so that we don't drive ourselves nutty while we're trying to do a fat loss program, if you're trying to do a fat loss program. So should you eliminate bread from your fat loss program? What do you think? Where would you like to spend those carbohydrate calories for you? Personally, I think I'd rather spend them somewhere else if I'm if I'm doing a fat loss program. Personally, I will usually spend those on 
rice or pasta or something else, I do like bread, but is it conducive to fat loss? It depends. It depends on what's going to make you feel the most satisfied and does it fit your macros? Does it fit your caloric needs? Uh, if it matches all those things, then you're good to go. So go ahead and drop your questions on bread below. Oh, and tell me what your favorite bread is. Tell me in the comments, what is your favorite kind of bread? Um, and if you have ever made bread, like, uh, do you know how what the macros are in it? Have you ever broken it down and looked at the flour content and all that kind of stuff? I want to know. Tell me about your breads. And uh, if you want more coaching with me, you can go to www.thenerdgym.com. That is our Patreon page. Uh, the Nerd Gym is an online gym. You don't have to go anywhere. We come to you via Zoom for classes and uh, nutrition and all the good stuff. So if you want a, a, a customer customized nutrition plan, or if you want to have fun workouts with other like-minded folks who are in it for getting fit and feeling great uh, without any body shaming nonsense, uh, looking for the real science because we're a bunch of nerds, then go ahead and join the Nerd Gym at www.thenerdgym.com. And I will see you next time uh, on this channel. Like, subscribe, all the things. Okay, bye.